there and welcome to video 24 which is a video about um, similar shapes and the exam questions that come up in the AQA Unit 3 Higher GCSE. Again, just to remind you, you should have watched video 23 which is a tutorial on similar shapes and made some revision cards. Now you should have the knowledge to be able to answer the past paper questions. This video is particularly for students who previously sat foundation who are trying higher but is equally applicable to anyone revising. Okay, take a look at the first question, pause the video, have a go, then in 10 seconds I'll go through, mark your work and correct it if needed. Okay, it tells us that A, B and C are right angle triangles and it only tells us that A and B are similar. So, if A and B are similar, let's A and B there, just be careful, um, they've put, they haven't put them in alphabetical order, be very, very careful, it's an easy mistake to make. It says work out the length W of triangle B. Now, a similar shape means all the angles are the same and the lengths are related by a scale factor. Let's find that scale factor. So, let's work out the length scale factor. The length scale factor must be, um, these two are equivalent to each other, so this one here and this one. So it must be 30 divided by 12, and that's 2.5. Okay, therefore if we want W, W must therefore be this length divided by 2.5, because it's the smaller one. So 12.5 divided by 2.5, and you should get the answer 5. And the unit is centimetres, so 5 centimetres, simple. Show that triangles A and C are not similar. Let's mark the ones we're doing. This one we're doing A and C. Now, for shapes to be similar, uh, they have to have all the same angles inside, and the sides related by a scale factor. Now, to, if they're not similar, if we work out um, the ratio of two equivalent sides and it's not equal to two other sides we choose, then they can't be similar. So, if we did 12.5 divided by 2, I would get 6.25 and these are equivalent. If I did 30 divided by 4.5, I would get 6.6 .6 recurring. Okay. Now, therefore, there is no common scale factor relating the sides. So no scale factor of enlargement. The shapes are not enlargements of each other, so they are not similar. And you're done. Okay, and that's quite easy for four marks. Nice, easy topic for four marks there. Okay, next question on similar shapes. Pause the video, have a go, and in 10 seconds I'll go through. Mark your work and make corrections if needed. Okay, um, again about similar triangles, it tells us that A, B, C and X, Y, Z are similar. So these triangles are similar. That angle is the same as that angle. Uh, that angle is the same as that angle. And the leftover one, that one, must be the same as that one. Okay, and it asks us to work out the length of X, Z. So we're trying to find this length here. I might just call it X for now. Right, similar shapes have the same angles inside, yeah, we've got that, but also have the sides related by a scale factor. So let's pick equivalent sides. That side and that side are equivalent. So let's work out the scale factor by doing 12 divided by 2.4. And if we do that, we get 5. So 5 is the scale factor of length. Okay, so if we want to find x, we take the 18 of the larger shape and we divide it by the scale factor, which is 5. Okay, so 18 divided by this scale factor, 5 gives me 3.6 and the unit is centimetres. 
for 3.6. Just have a sense check at the end. Does it seem reasonable? Well, if that's gone down by look, look, about you know five times, that gone down by five times, 3.6 sounds reasonable. Okay, good. Okay, uh, I want you to move on to the next question. It's a question on similar shapes but involving mass and volume. Okay, so pause the video, have a go, and then uh, check your check your answers are correct against my, uh, and if not, make some corrections. So here we go. Okay, here we go. Butter is sold in tubs. The tubs are similar in shape. The dimensions of the catering tub are double those of the small tub. The small tub holds 250 grams of butter. How much does the catering tub hold? Right, it's a two mark question. The dimensions mean the lengths are doubled. Okay, so if the lengths are doubled, the scale factor for lengths, okay, is two. Now we know the scale factor for area is then 2 squared, which is 4. And we know the scale factor for volume is 2 cubed, which is 8. Okay. Now mass and volume are related to each other. So mass and volume are, are related by the, the same scale factor. So if the small one is 250, the large one must equal... 8, the scale factor of volume or mass, multiplied by 250 grams. Okay, so 8 times 250 is 2,000 grams. And we're done. Okay, have a go at the next uh, part of this same question with the same picture here. Um, pause the video, have a go, mark your work against mine. Okay, this time we're dealing with a small tub and a large tub, not an industrial tub like in the previous, or a catering tub here. We're dealing with a small and a large. It tells us that the height of the small one is 50 millimetres, and it wants us to work out the height of uh, the large one. Okay, now we know um, we can work out the volume or mass scale factor. Now the volume scale factor... Okay, we can divide the masses. That's equivalent to dividing the volumes for all intents and purposes. So that's 500 divided by 250, which is 2. Okay, so the scale factor of volume is 2. So, how do I work out the uh, scale factor of length? Well, the area scale factor would be the square root of 2, and the length scale factor... Well, it's the cube root of 2, okay? So, if I know the height is 50 millimetres, what's the height of the length? Well, I take the 50 and I multiply it by the cube root of 2. And I get 62.996, blah, blah, etc., which goes to 63 millimetres to the nearest millimetre. Now, that is a tricky question. It's a tricky question. What you had to do is realise that the 250 grams, comparing it with the 500, is a mass. And work out the scale factor of mass, scale factor of mass, which is clearly 2. That's the same as the scale factor for volume. Okay. Now, we know that the volume scale factor is the cube of the length scale factor. So going backwards, if we want the length scale factor, we have to take the cube root of 2. And that is what we need to multiply the 50 by to get the height of this one. So yes, that's a tricky question for three marks. But hopefully, you know, you understand that. And the other questions are quite easy and gettable in the exam. Thank you for watching and please tune in for the next video on Unit 3 Revision.